ಶಾಂತಿಶಾಂತಿಶಾಂತಿಶಾಂತಿಶಾಂತಿಶಾಂತಿಶಾಂತಿಶಾಂತಿಶಾಂತಿಶಾಂತಿಶಾಂತಿ
ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಶಿರಸ್ವಾದಿ ಅಪ್ರಾಪ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಶಿರಸ್ವಾದ್ಯ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ತಿ ಉಪಚಯಾಪಚಯೌ ಹಿ ಭೇದೆ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಪದಚ್ಛೇದ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತಿ ಸೇಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮೋದ ಪ್ರಮೋದ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಶಿರ ದಕ್ಷಿಣ ಪಕ್ಷ ಉತ್ತರ ಪಕ್ಷ ಇತ್ಯಾದಿ ದಿ ವಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಸಿಮಿಲಿ ಗಿವನ್ ಆರ್ ಅನ್ ಸಮ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಸಿಮಿಲಿ ವಿತ್ ಅ ಬರ್ಡ್ ವೇರ್ ಬೈ ಉಪಾಸನ ಆನ್ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಕೋಶ ಪಂಚಕೋಶ ವಿವೇಕ ದಿ ಕೋಶ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ದಿ ಸಿಮಿಲಿ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಬರ್ಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಹೆಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ರೈಟ್ ವಿಂಗ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ವಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿ ಟೇಲ್ ವಿಚ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ ಆಧಾರ ಟು ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಬರ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಿಮಿಲಿ ದಿ ಕೋಶಾಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬಿನ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಚೈತ್ರಿ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆನಂದಮಯ ಕೋಶ ವೇರ್ ದಿ ಏಕದೇಶಿ ವೇದಾಂತಿ ವಿ ಹವ್ ಸೀನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಅ ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಆಸ್ ಟು ಆನಂದಮಯ ಕೋಶ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಆನಂದಮಯ ಇಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಆತ್ಮ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತಿ ಆರ್ ಡಿಫ್ಯೂಟೆಡ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಆನಂದಮಯ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಗ್ರೇಡೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆನಂದ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಆನಂದ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿಫೈಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿಫೈಡ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ಆತ್ಮ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಕೋಶ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ರಿಮೇನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಶುದ್ಧ ಆತ್ಮ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಸಚ್ಚಿದಾನಂದ ಆತ್ಮ ದಿಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ದಿ ಎನಾಲಿಸಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ಚೈತ್ರಿ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಸೂತ್ರ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಅಧ್ಯಾಯ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸೀನ್ ದಿಸ್ ನಾವು what is being said is that parabrahma is actually the aadhara where you say it is a tail there parabrahma is seen as aadhara really and anandamaya is a kosha now this priya priya ityadi as shira ityadi in the upasana has to be of the kosha where parabrahma is actually one who is providing as aadhara becomes adhisthana and makes all of this possible all the koshas being seen as atma as one self that is possible only because of the satta spurti lent by parabrahma which is the adhisthana or aadhara bhuta <coughs> therefore priya sirastvadi apraptih <coughs> priya moda pramoda sirastvadi nam apraptih that is not to be brought into it is aprapta in the swashakha if it is not there in your shakha you need not bring those you should not bring those to understand parabrahma parabrahma is without the gunas whereby upasanas are described they are all kosha gunas and the by extension the comparison the simile with the bird is also possible only due to that reason as to the right wing left wing etc they are not the swarupa of parabrahma he he is yasmat because it is so therefore what the upachaya upachaya the upachaya and uh, the upachaya and apachaya the vriddhi and kshaya the growth and decline in ananda is only in the kosha in the antakarana it is anubhuta it is not in this swarupa the swarupa can never change if it is without ananda then it will always remain so if it is ananda swarupa then it will never go so swarupa is that never changes and that cannot have increase and decrease upachaya and apachaya vriddhi and kshaya are not possible so then where is this vriddhi and kshaya hi asmad bhede bhede hi because in bheda alone in kosha when there is bheda then alone upachaya and apachaya vriddhi and kshaya are possible this is the sutra artha meaning priya moda pramoda shirastvadinam apraapti hi kutaha hi asmat karanat bhede eva upachaya apachayau sambhavatah that is the sutra artha there the vritti says priya shirastvadi dharmanam na sarvatra prapti hi aprapti means na prapti where sarvatra in all shakhas priya shirastvadi kind of upasanas whereby kosha is to be separated from oneself and thereby the tadatmya sambandha is cut asunder and then 
one looks deeper and deeper till that stage where one is unable to separate out and objectify anything and thereby one remains in one's own swarupa that is the real atma sa kashta sa paragati hi katopnishad says that which will come up in the same section further in the in the brahma sutra so he why so he asmat priya mod pramod ananda naam so the priya mod and pramod are gradations and these are just three names gradations need not be only in three stages they can be in multiple stages i mean multiple levels also but group together as in three sta- stages priya is that ananda when something which is dear someone has raga in something that vishaya that vastu is merely thought about or is seen then there is priya level of ananda then when one is about to come in association or contact with that vishaya there is moda level of ananda which is slightly higher and then one experiences that object or vishaya then there is pramoda level of ananda these are all gradations in the anubhuta ananda experiential happiness but the swarupa ananda is what we differentiate by translating as bliss generally you will see the word bliss which cannot be explained really because it is your own swarupa it is not something which can be experienced you cannot experience your swarupa as an object the experience of this swarupa is as your own self that experience can never be taken away so the experience of ananda in something else be it even in samadhi which is in antakarana that is experiential reflected happiness so we differentiate by using the word such as bliss it's not a wrong translation so bliss is just saying that it is not experiential ananda whereas everything else we call as happiness because it is experiential this is how generally the word is used but you you can also say that it is that exp that happiness which cannot be experienced that is also a good translation of ananda but it has multiple words so therefore we say you know uh, bliss because in english there is uh, uh, the phrase is used such as you know how was it it, it was blissful you know meaning you cannot explain what it was it was very blissful so what does it mean you cannot explain you cannot put in words you cannot have a comparison with anything else in the world where you can give an example and see it was happiness of this order or of this level so you separate it out from the priya moda pramoda what is your own swarupa left after the desire for the object goes away which has separated us from our own swarupa that kind of a dukha which is felt is seen as lack of the object because the object is not available initially and the desire for the object is there because the antakarana is busy thinking about this object planning how to get this object how to get more and more of this happiness from the object which is misplaced the happiness is not there in the object one separates oneself out as though from one's own ananda swarupa and craves for an object more and more going away from one's own swarupa because the antakarana is busy and cannot reflect the swarupa ananda completely in bits and pieces it is there when does it manifest for the most part if you take a singular desire if there is no other desire which is generally not the case we human beings have multiple desires in parallel all the time one of them is maybe one or one at a time you can say just like cpus or computers process programs so it's a single step at a time at any given time the antakarana has vritti regarding a particular vishaya then it splits into multiple but then initially even if we have many such desires of the same order at a certain point of time there is an intense desire towards a particular object and then that traps us traps the mind rather the tra- traps the mind and the atma being associated with the mind is also kind of deluded does not understand that i am 
Ananda Sarupa and therefore one who is associated with the vrittis of the mind such as Raga Dvesha Ityadi, it drags away oneself and there is no happiness which is reflected for the most part. Then what happens is that this Priya, Moda, Pramoda gradation is possible based on how close the object is to experience unto which one has desire and then when the object is attained completely and one is experiencing the object itself, objectifying it completely, then there is no desire towards that object for that moment. It may, it may come up later, but then at that moment one is not drawn away because the desire goes away, one is not drawn away from one's own Sarupa and that Antakkarana which has desire lacking reflects this Ananda well, Sarupa Ananda well and therefore one misconstrues that this manifestation of happiness syncing up with the desire dropping towards the object is misunderstood as what? The object giving happiness which is not the case at all, it is not a fact at all. One is unable to differentiate the happiness experience due to the desire dropping off towards the object. Because the object is attained, one misunderstands this as happiness due to the object being attained. And therefore there is craving towards that object more and more, samskara is left behind and one keeps on craving. Buddhi cannot function there to differentiate. And therefore, Priya Moda Pramoda is seen as only in the object, never as the manifested happiness of desire going away, due to desire going away, that is not seen. And that manifestation of the happiness is actually of the Sampurna Atma, Ananda Sarupa Atma, based on which desire is still present, the happiness experience is in gradations. Even when one object is attained, the desire towards other objects may still be there which are keeping oneself away from the Sarupananda. If at all there were no desires at all at any point of time, then the Ananda would be at its maximum and because Antakkarana association is still there, Antakkarana being Shuddha, the reflection of Sarupananda is at its maximum as in the case of Shushupti without knowledge or in the case of Samadhi without this Ajnana blocking that Swarupa Ananda. Therefore, Paraspara Apekshaya Upachaya Apachayu compared to Priya Moda Pramoda among themselves compared to Priya Moda is higher compared to Priya and Moda Pramoda has higher meaning has increase in happiness. And other way around, compared to Pramoda, Moda has lesser decrease in happiness and Priya compared to Moda and Pramoda has lesser degree of happiness. So, Upachaya Upachaya are Paraspara Apekshaya. Vruddhikshaya, Upachaya Apachaya means Vruddhikshaya Anubhuyete, they are experienced. What is experienced? Increase and decrease in happiness is experienced based on the reflection having gradations based on the desire towards the object which is the object itself being close, closer or being with oneself completely. So based on that there is increase or decrease in happiness, experience of happiness. Taucha dharmi bhede sati eva swabhavikaha bhavataha. So they are only natural when, when there is Dharm, dharmi bheda, when there is bheda in dharmi, one who has these dharmas. Therefore, what Brahmanastu nirbheda tvat dharmi bheda nasti, there is only one Brahma. So, that dharmi, Brahma, cannot have multiple, there are no multiple dharmis, there is only one Brahma where Satchidananda are dharmas. The Upakshaya and Apakshaya or Vriddhi and Kshaya of Ananda is not the Dharma of Brahma. It is only due to Dharmi Bheda that there can be 
वृद्धि एंड शया ऑफ एनीथिंग ऑफ धर्म बेसिकली बट देन धर्मी भेद इज नॉट देर ब्राह्मणस्तु निर्भेद बिकॉज धर्म भेद मे बी देर बट देन दे आर ऑल्सो जस्ट डिफरेंट वर्ड्स टू एक्सप्लेन दिस रूप ऑफ आत्मा दैट्स वाई वी सी डिफाइनिंग एट्रीब्यूट्स दे आर नॉट रियली गुणास एंड ब्रह्मा इज वन विदाउट अ सेकेंड हैज नो अदर ब्रह्मा देर इज नो अदर सेकेंड अदर देन ब्रह्म एट ऑल अब्रह्म इज ऑल्सो नॉट देर ए तेन संयदवामत्वाद ब्रह्मधर्म व्याख्याता नो वी हेव सीन दिस इन देर आर सम वर्ड्स यूज इन उपासना रियर वी हेड सीन संयदवाम इत्यादि सो दोज धर्मास आर ऑल्सो व्याख्याता दे हेव बीन कॉमेंटेड अपॉन बिकॉज दोज धर्मास ऑल्सो संयत्व वामनत्व भावनित्व वी हेव सीन इन second chapter sometime or in first chapter first chapter itself we have, we have seen sanyatvam vamanitvam bhamanitvam these are the dharmas described described they are all what they mean they are all possible only if there is dharmi bheda and dharmi bheda is there only in the bheda prapancha bheda ru bheda bhuta prapancha the prapancha which is bheda bhuta only there you can have these increase and decrease and all sorts of other dharmas which are not actually defining attributes of brahma but they are talking about some kosha ityadi or some objectifiable thing which can have upasana also possible related to it based on dharmas etena sanyadvamatvadeh brahma dharmah vyakhyata so this brahma dharma is also what they are tesham api upasya gunatva avishesha they are upasya brahma dharmas and upas upasya brahma has has bhedas nirguna brahma nirvishesha brahma has no bheda but saguna brahma has bheda it can manifest even in dharma shastra you will see so many manifestations and people would even make sampradayas and fight as to ishvara para brahma appearing as shiva is shrestha or appearing as vishnu is shrestha they think they are different entities altogether however it is the same parabrahma which takes gunas and appears in various avataras as different or as various players of the role as different so brahma dharmas which are sanyadvamatva ityadi are what they are all upasya rupa brahma gunas and therefore there can be bheda seen in upasya devata but in a in that para brahma which is not upasya because ke no upanishad has said tadeva brahmatam vidhi nedam yad upas upasate so that brahma on which there is upasana done meaning upasya brahma that is not really brahma meaning that is not the real swarup of brahma that is also brahma all right but that is not the swarup of brahma shuddha brahma is not upasya at all there is nirguna brahma upasana also but then that upasana is really making a vritti of the jnana where jnana has not taken place in a hope that some day this jnana will take place with abhyasa something will happen which we do not know what what really happens bhagwan vidyaranacharya gives an example i think in the ninth chapter of panchadashi when the purva paksha asks how do you have this possibility of nirguna upasana it is not possible because nirguna brahma cannot be objectified it is you yourself so this siddhanti says there then nirguna jnana is also not possible and we have seen this jnana and anubhava are not different words smriti bhinnam jnanam anubhavah so when the siddhanti asks then how is nirguna jnana going to be possible why because jnana is a is also from the nyadhatu which is sakarma kathatu it also expects some object karma vyakarana karma so if you say brahma nirguna brahma is become the object of the nyadhatu then also it is as good as upasya brahma or as bad in understanding as upasya brahma and still you say that through through bhagatyaga lakshana it is possible 
So you explain in some other manner by neti neti prakriya. Similarly, the upasana can be in upasana also. Whatever you do in jnana, the same thing you can do in upasana. The only difference is that one is unable to understand in dhyana. In nirguna dhyana, one is unable to understand how it is working. He is just parroting the words or keeping his vritti constant, trying to keep the vritti constant, trying to bring back all the differences. Uh, bring back the mind from all the differences into parabrahma so he may not have understanding of neti neti prakriya but he, as per the guidance given by the acharya and shastra he just says that okay i do not understand he is talking to himself as to i do not understand but the shruti says so acharya says so i have shraddha so let me just say that i am not this i am not that and try to do the kosha viveka in this manner without understanding he is just trying to focus on the vakyas and with vakyas what is he doing he is just bringing the mind back from the bheda into abheda this is nirguna upasana so it is also possible this neti neti prakriya and bhagavan vidyarani charya there he gives an example i may have mentioned in some other part i don't remember mentioning it here but he says that how it works we cannot explain how this mind works we cannot explain but this is how the mind works for everyone it is the swabhav of the mind because it is panchamahabhuta karya everyone's mind finally with more or less time will work in the same manner those who say that samadhi is not needed they may be right but still they cannot avoid samadhi if it has to happen if they are trying to keep awake not falling asleep in dhyana in nididhyasana they would call it as nididhyasana and say this is shuddha vedanta there is nothing like that we have seen in gita 6 chapter we when we revisited trying to understand through uh, gudartha deepika of bhagwan madhusudana saraswati that jnana and dhyana both are possible in nididhyasana jai chintane dhyana rudhi artha is meditation and chintana is contemplation both are possible one can contemplate and have no need for samadhi or one may have samadhi also but the mind tends to resolve if the mind is not alert then it goes to nidra avastha this is common for everyone's mind there is absolutely no difference whether one is a vedanti or a yogi but the mind will go to sleep if it is not alert and if you try to keep it alert and not let it go to sleep which is the way to do nididhyasana or dhyana then it can become completely awake which you do not want so when you do not want the mind to wake up completely and completely go to sleep then what will happen this samadhi is very much possible by ekavrutti the mind resolves in the object of thought that is the dharma of the mind that is what the yoga sutra is on everybody's mind will resolve from the stage that we call as nididhyasana into samadhi in fact in vichara sagara we have seen that nididhyasana is savikalpa samadhi itself where vritti is still there and when the vritti lesha happens which is natural progression of the mind if one is not trying to maintain the vritti then what happens is that the it will resolve resolve into the brahmaatma tattva itself and that is nirvikalpaka samadhi so what happens is that uh, there is functioning of the mind this is how it works so when you are doing upasana also this nirguna brahma upasana may be possible but mostly saguna upasana is what what is being done what is recommended by the shastra and there upasya bheda is definitely there and then only bhedehi upachaya apachayo so all that sanyadvamatvaadi gunas are also in bheda not in abheda not in nirguna brahma but in saguna brahma jnana upayogatvat anandadina संयद्वामत्वादि धर्मेभ्य वैषम्यम आह नाउ पूर्व पक्षी सेज व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस हियर व्हेन यू से दैट दिस संयद वामत्वादि धर्मा व्हिच आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दे आर उपास्य गुणास 
and then ananda ityadi gunas where you have done upasamahara what is the difference between them jnana upayogitvat anandadinam sanyadvamatvati dharmebhya vaishamyam ah siddhanti says that this sanyadvamatvati dharmas are not helping in jnana they are going to help in upasana phala what is that chitta ekagrata or some particular phala which is given in the shakha if you do upasana on brahma in this manner looking at sanyadvamatvadi dharmas then you will get a particular phala samanya phala is what it is chitta ekagrata mind will become focused just like it is in any upasana however this anandadi dharmas where upasamahara clubbing together of dharmas defining attributes were done from bringing it from the other shakhas that is helpful in jnana chitta ekagrata dwara the other upasanas are also helping but they are not helping directly directly this anandadi swarupa dharmas are helping in jnana how so because one can understand when one understands ananda for example as what it is not in my shaka my shaka says satchid uh, satyam jnanam anantam brahma let's say then wherever there is satta that is brahma satta it is my satta alone after understanding mahavakya wherever there is chaitanya that is my chaitanya alone because it is brahma chaitanya and i am one with brahma this can be the understanding and limitless limitlessness is the very swarup of brahma and i cannot be limited because i am one with brahma this is this can be the understanding thus far but when you bring ananda ityadi also in your shakha you understand that ananda which i am hunting in other vishayas is not really in those vishayas it is my swarup itself because i am none other than brahma which is ananda swarup as described in another shakha and similarly for those who know ananda as a swarup of the atma they may not be hankering for anything else but they think this ananda is limited ananda so their anantyam from the other shakha can be brought into understand no this ananda is ananta ananda it is nitya ananda and i am searching for manifested ananda which is limited but if i wean myself away from all of that i can be in my limitless ananta ananda swarup therefore they are jnana upayogi one can understand with analysis of the defining attributes as one owns that own attribute and thereby jnana is assisted by these dharmas which are in other shakhas if these dharmas which find themselves in other shakhas than my shakha and therefore there is a difference between the sanyadvamatvadi dharmas which are upasya brahma brahma dharmas and anandadi dharmas which are not upasya but the very essence of the upasaka me and therefore dharmebhya vaishamyam between these dharmas there is definitely swarupa dharma and upasya par brahma dharmas are different from each other vaishamyam ah itare tvartha samanyat itare tvartha samanyat says bhagwan sutrakara itare tu artha samanyat what is this sanyadvamatvadi they are what itare they are other other than what other than anandadaya dharmah so sanyadvamatvadi he itare anandadaya ananda itare meaning you can uh, flip side both sides you can see आनंदादि धर्मास आर व्हाट टू अर्थ सामान्य सो वी विल टेक विथ इतरे विल टेक दी स्वरूप धर्मास आनंदादय आनंदादि आर व्हाट दे आर ज्ञान उपयोगी एंड देयरफॉर दे आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम संयद्वामत्वादि धर्मास देयरफॉर वी विल से इतरे एज व्हाट आनंदादि धर्मास सो आनंदादय इतरे कस्मात इतरे संयद्वामत्वादेहे इतरे सो संयद्वामत्वादेहे इतरे तू आर व्हाट आनंदादयः धर्माः व्हाय अर्थ सामान्यात बिकॉज प्रतिपाद्य ब्रह्म नेय ब्रह्म नॉट उपास्य ब्रह्म नेय ब्रह्म 
has these dharmas anandari dharmas as samanya dharmas swarupa dharmas samanyat artha samanyat arthasya samanyat artha is what pratipadya brahma padartha because what is the artha of ananda ananda is a pada its artha is actually brahma itself what about sat the artha of sat padartha sat is a pada what is a padartha of sat brahma alone same with chit what is chit we'll say oh chit means uh, consciousness that is the artha because artha translate both as meaning also and the in the case of ghata the meaning of the ghata is pot that is just the meaning pot so pot can be explained the meaning can be explained you know that particular you know of this particular shape where you can carry water etc that is a pot but the object that you see the pot itself that is padartha so padartha has two meanings meaning also and the object also here it is not an object object of the word meaning the meaning of the word itself is the nama rupatmaka so nama is pada and what is the rupa artha is the rupa and that artha in the mind is the meaning which is reflecting but the artha outside is the object itself now this brahma is not having inside or outside so what is it it is i the objectifier so it is not an a uh, separate object from me so the artha the meaning reflects in the antakarna in the buddhi and the artha padartha is myself which cannot be created it is, it is not that which is an object of that vritti also as outside me it is the meaning of the vritti and that is me the objectifier of everything else which does not really ex- exist separate from me so this satchit ananda ananta all these words have particular meanings which appear to be separate oh existence and consciousness are separate from each other happiness limitlessness bliss all these words have different meanings and they have they have impose upon me the understanding that existence is something that is completely different from consciousness that understanding has to be corrected with vedanta as to wherever there is existence felt pot exists the cloth exists ghata asti pata asti all that is parabrahma alone and when we say parabrahma is sentient entity that is me atma i exist and i am conscious so consciousness is not non existent consciousness consciousness has to be existent consciousness and if you say existence is there but i am not conscious nobody wants that moksha swarupa is what satchidananda brahma itself meaning i am existence consciousness and bliss sat chit and ananda and limitless nitya ananda nitya sat which will never have marana meaning i will never die i have never died as well trikala sat it is and i am sentient it is not that i will not know that i have been existent forever therefore existence cannot be jada and chaitanya also cannot be asat it cannot be asat so it is a sat chaitanya and sat chaitanya which is ananta it cannot be antavat because moksha swarupa shastra says that you will get moksha it is not something like a you know more happiness experience in swarga for a longer duration multiple lifetimes in prithvi in comparison that is not we, what we are saying it is nitya therefore it has to be ananta so sat has to be ananta sat chit has to be ananta chit and ananda also has to be anan, ananta ananda so all these words if you look at it they are seeming to be qualifying each other and therefore they are not different from each other at all you can add the visheshana visheshya bhava between all of these but when you understand it completely you will say what it is that satchidananda tattva which is ananta therefore there is no difference between the meanings of the words at all padartha is single ekameva advitya brahmatma therefore samanya artha of all of these arthasya 
ऑल ऑफ दीज वर्ड्स हैव अ सिंगल अर्थ सामान्य अर्थ विच इज मी एंड इट इज सामान्य फॉर एवरी वन ऑल्सो एवरी वन हु इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग हु हैज अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ दिस पर ब्रह्म तत्व ऑफ ऑल दीज हर मास देन सामान्य अर्थ इज मी आय 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 इज सामान्य टू एवरी वन अहम 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 अस्मी अहम भामी एंड देर बाय फाइनली अहम आनंद स्वरूप अस्मी दिस इज सामान्य दिस इज दि सूत्रार्थ उपास्य धर्मापेक्षा इतरे तो आनंदादय धर्म ज्ञान एक फलाहा उपसंह्रीयते वाय देर इज उपसंहारा टू बी डन देर इज टाइप ओयर देर इज अ वकार विच शुड बी देर इट इज इट शुड बी रेफ अ देर सो संह्रीयते रेफ हेज बिकम वकार देर सो उपास धर्म अपेक्षया इतरे दि उपास धर्म संयद्वाम आदि धर्म कंपेर टू दैट इतर डिफरेंट आर वॉट दिस आनंद आदि धर्म दे आर डिफाइनिंग अट्रिब्यूट वेर एज संयद्वाम दि आर धर्म टू मेडिटेटेड अपॉन दे आर गुण दे आर नॉट स्वरूप धर्म दे आर नॉट डिफाइनिंग अट्रिब्यूट्स आनंद आदय धर्म ज्ञान एक फल दे आर फोकस टूवर्ड्स रिवीलिंग अ सिंगल परब्रह्म नॉन डिफरेंट फ्रॉम वन सेल्फ देर फोर दे हेव अ सिंगल रिजल्ट ज्ञान एक फल ज्ञान एक फल ये ज्ञान एक फल ये आनंददादया दीना धर्माण सो दिस आनंदादी धर्म आर दोज विच हेव ज्ञान एज अ सिंगल रिजल्ट विच ज्ञान ऐक्य ज्ञान रियली देर फोर सर्वत्र उपसंह्रीयते सर्वेशु सर्वासु शाखासु उपसंह्रीयते दे आर क्लब टुगेदर इन ऑल शाखा अर्थ सामत वाय बिकॉज देर इज सामान्य इन अर्थास देर अर्थास अर्थ से प्रतिपाद से ब्रह्मण सामत सो इन वृत्ति इन दि सूत्र इट सेल्फ आई ब्रॉड दिस वृत्ति अफ एज टू प्रतिपाद न्ये ब्रह्म दि रिवील्ड ब्रह्म दिन नोएबल ब्रह्म नॉट दि मेडिटेटेबल ब्रह्म बट दि प्रतिपाद्य रिवील्ड ब्रह्म इज वॉट वन सोन स्वरूप सामत एक एक देर इज वन सिंगल ब्रह्म एंड सामान्य सीन बाय एवरी जीवा एज वन सोन स्वरूप विच एवर जीवा अंडरस्टैंड अंडरस्टैंड नॉट एज समन एल सी स्वरूप बट मै ओन स्वरूप अहम अस्मी ब्रह्म एवं अंतरण गुणोपसंहार यथावत ब्रह्म स्वरूप विषयक महावाक्यार्थ ज्ञान साध्याया अविद्या निवृत्ति असंभवा सर्वत्र आनंदाद उपसंहर्तव्या सिद्ध सो वॉट इज द फाइनल कंक्लूजन वॉट हेव यू एस्टाब्लिश सिद्धांति वॉट आर द सिद्धांति एस्टाब्लिश एवं च इन दिस मैनर अंतरण गुणोपसंहार विदउट दि गुणोपसंहार मीनिंग धर्म उपसंहार मीनिंग निर्विशेष ब्रह्म डिफाइनिंग एट्रीब्यूट फ्रॉम अदर शाखा बीइंग ब्रॉड टूगेदर इन टू वन सोन शाखा यथावत ब्रह्म स्वरूप विषयक महावाक्यार्थ ज्ञान साध्याया अविद्या निवृत्ति असंभव वॉट विल बी असंभव बिकॉज इट विल बी इंपॉसिबल फॉर अविद्या निवृत्ति टू टेक प्लेस फॉर अविद्या अज्ञान टू गो अवे विदउट दिस नॉलेज इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल यथावत वन मे अंडरस्टैंड ब्रह्म एज वॉट उपास्य ब्रह्म एज हैविंग सम संयद्वामी गुण बट देन when we understand swarupa sachidananda brahma also you understand without ananda it is incomplete therefore ananda has to be brought back from another shaka what will happen if we don't understand yathavad jnana won't take place the way one has to understand oneself that jnana won't take place i may live forever i may be sentient and i may be limitless also but if i am dukha swarupa then who wants this limitless dukha nitya dukha one has to understand one swarupa as ananda only then there is mukti possible so brahma swarupa vishayak mahavakyartha jnana what is that jnana jnana is mahavakya vakyartha jnana the vakya bodha of mahavakya which which is what brahma swarupa vishayak it has brahma swarupa as its vishaya so brahma swarupa vishayak is bahuri with anya padartha as mahavakyartha jnana and that is sadhya jnana which has to be attained so brahma swarupa brahma swarupam eva vishayah yasya mahavakya 
महावाक्य से और महावाक्य अर्थ ज्ञान से दैट इज वॉट ब्रह्म स्वरूप विषयक विषयक महावाक्य अर्थ ज्ञान एंड इट इज साध्यम ऑल्सो एंड तदेव साध्यम एंड तस्या साध्य इट इज साध्य वॉट इज दैट एक्चुअली ज्ञान साध्य सो ब्रह्म स्वरूप विषयक महावाक्य अर्थ ज्ञान ज्ञान एंड साध्य आर नॉट दि सेम सॉरी ज्ञान साध्याय ज्ञान वॉट इज दिस ज्ञान वॉट इज दि गोल ऑफ दिस ज्ञान ज्ञान इज गोल ज्ञान इज साक्षात्कार फॉर मोक्ष एंड वॉट इज मोक्ष स्वरूप आनंद प्राप्ति इज वन एंड निशेष अविद्या निवृत्ति इज अनदर अज्ञान निवृत्ति सो अज्ञान निवृत्ति बींग स्त्रीलिंग द वर्ड इज साध्य निवृत्ते इन पंचमी निवृत्ते षष्टी एंड साध्याय इन षष्टी सो यथावत ब्रह्म स्वरूप विषयक महावाक्य अर्थ ज्ञान वॉट इज दी साध्य फॉर दैट कैंड ऑफ अ ज्ञान वॉट इज दी गोल द गोल इज अविद्या निवृत्ति एंड दैट इज इम्पॉसिबल असंभवात वाई इज इट इम्पॉसिबल इट इज इम्पॉसिबल विदउट गुणोपसंहार स्वरूप धर्म इफ इट इज नॉट अंडरस्टूड कंप्लीटली देन विदउट दैट अंतरेण गुणोपसंहार अविद्या निवृत्ते असंभवात एंड वॉट कैंड ऑफ अविद्या निवृत्ति अविद्या निवृत्ति विथ इज ज्ञान साध्य विच कैंड ऑफ ज्ञान साध्य महावाक्यार्थ ज्ञान साध्य इट इज अटेनेबल ओनली बाय ज्ञान एंड दैट ज्ञान विच इज नॉट एनी अदर ज्ञान इट इज ओनली महावाक्यार्थ ज्ञान एंड वॉट इज द विषय फॉर दिस महावाक्य ब्रह्म स्वरूप एंड दैट ब्रह्म स्वरूप कैनॉट बी लिम यू नो इन बिट्स एंड पीसेस हियर एंड देर इट शुड बी कंप्लीट देर फॉर यथावत ओनली देन इट विल बी यथावत एज इंटेंडेड बाय द श्रुति एज वन इज इन वन सोन स्वरूप इति सिद्धम दिस इज देर फॉर सर्वत्र आनंद आदय धर्म स्वरूप धर्म और गुणा स्वरूप गुणा उपसंहर्तव्या सिद्धम दिस इज एस्टाब्लिश पूर्वत्र ब्रह्म स्वरूप आनंदादी उपसंहार उपसंहारियाण ब्रह्मज्ञान उपाय अभीत पूर्वपक्षी से यू हैव डिफ्रेंशिएटेड बिटवीन सामन दी इतर धर्म मीनिंग दी आनंदादी धर्म फ्रॉम उपास्य धर्म एज टू वॉट दि संयद्वामत्वादि धर्म यू हैव डिफ्रेंशिएट बेस्ड ऑन व्हाट यू द सिद्धांति हैज डिफ्रेंशिएटेड दि स्वरूप ब्रह्म स्वरूप आनंद आदि धर्म उपसंहार यू हैव डन बेस्ड ऑन व्हाट ज्ञान उपयोगित ज्ञान उपाय उपाय मीन्स उपाय उपयोगित उपयोगित दे आर उपयोगी मीन दे आर उपाय टूवर्ड्स ब्रह्म ज्ञान महावाक्यार्थ ज्ञान विदउट दम ब्रह्म ज्ञान इज नॉट गोण पॉसिबल एंड देर फॉर ब्रह्म ज्ञान साध्य अविद्या निवृत्ति इज नॉट गोण पॉसिबल देर फॉर यू डिफ्रेंशिएटेड दीज धर्म फ्रॉम दि अदर उपास्य धर्म संयद्वामत्वादी अधुना तो हव एवर न वॉट अब्रह्म स्वरूप से अनुपसंहार से अर्थादि परत्वूपर्म से प्रज्ञान उपाय अभिधीये एक फलत्संगत सिद्धांति इज बीइंग पॉइंटेड आउट बाय दी पूर्व पक्षी अ सेक्शन इन कटश्रुति वेर यू नो दीज इंद्रिय पराख्यर्ता दीज कैंड ऑफ मंत्राज आर हर्ड एज इन इंद्रिया सुपीरियर टू इंद्रिया आर दी अर्था दी पूर्व अधिकरण इज ओवर दी नेक्स्ट अधिकरण इज आध्यानादी अधिकरण आध्यान सो आध्यानादी अधिकरण इन दैट पूर्व पक्षी ऑब्जेक्शन इज एंसर्ड एज टू वॉट पूर्व पक्षी से दिस अर्थ विषया ऑब्जेक्ट आर सुपीरियर टू इंद्रिया दिस इज वॉट दी कठोपनिष से वाय बिकॉज अर्था आर गोइंग टू ड्रैग दी इंद्रिया वॉट एवर ड्रैग समन हेज टू बी सुपीरियर सो टेक दिस इज सिंपल एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ दैट मंत्र देर फोर अर्था इंद्रिय सो विल सी इन दृत्ति इंद्रिय पराख्यर्ता हि इंडीड ए वॉट अर्था इंद्रिय परा दि ऑब्जेक्ट आर् सुपीरियर टू दि इंद्रिया 
compared to the sense organs the sense objects are superior says the kathavalli now aduna to therefore puropakshi is saying abrahma swarupasya anupasamharyasya arthadi paratva rupa dharmasya where there is gradation of superiority shown in kathopanishad there he says they are all abrahma swarupa gradations are shown and they are not the swarupa dharmas therefore abrahma swarupasya anupasamharyasya those which cannot be club together what about those gunas uh, actually purvatra uh, aduna to uh, uh, this is not the purva paksha sorry i read a nanu there purva purvatra earlier this was done and now therefore e iti eka phalatva sangatya so eka phalatva sang so what has been shown earlier the same methodology is being used what was said earlier gnaneka phalaha the anandaadi dharmas have been club together in swashaka also being being brought from other shakas for the single phala and here what eka phalatva sangati similar result is here what is the similar result there is upayogitvam gnana upayatva is there so aduna tu abrahma swarupasya anupasamharasya that which should not be club together should be set aside which are not gnana upayogi and arthadi paratva rupa dharma so these dharma which are discussed there are arthadi para they are discussing objects etc they are not discussing the swarupa of the atma this is what the uh, prajnana upayatvam abhidiyate therefore what arthadi paratva rupa dharmasya which is what abrahma swarupasya and anupasamharyasya the dharmas dharmas are what anupasamhar they are not to be clubbed together from other shakas why because these dharmas are committed to reveal what arthadi para artha ityad they are committed to artha meaning uh, para is committed paratva they are committed to what arthadi so whatever gradations are described there compared to the indriyas the mind is superior compared to the uh, mind the buddhi superior ityadi whatever discussion of gradations is shown there they are all mantras committed to show gradations in the anatma not atma however prajnana upayatvam abhidiyate they are useful to separate oneself because one has tadatmya sambandha with the koshas and therefore buddhi antakarana manaha ityadi roles which are being played by the same antakarana sukshma sharira there is tadatmya sambandha and due to tadatmya sambandha one considers them as atma but by showing this gradation in superiority uh, superiority what is finally being driven home oh look at this this is subtler than subtler innermost and superior to the outer less subtle which is not you and then when you keep on doing this just like in taitriya how you do panchakosha viveka similarly here some viveka is done from anatma and through gradations finally one lands on something which cannot be separated which is the most superior and then the upanishad says sa kashta sa paragati hi you cannot go any further this is the limit you cannot separate yourself out you cannot show anything superior than yourself that you is parabrahma paramatma this is the process used there and therefore prajnana there is prajnana is this gnana of parabrahma so prajnana upayatvam abhidiyate that is being taught there and therefore although they are not to be club together still they are useful to understand one's own swarupa and thereby what iti eka phalatva sangatya idamah thereby this adhyana adi uh, adhyana adikarana comes up we look at uh, little little more uh, today itself we'll see this sutra uh, so therefore adhyana adikaranam adhikar, adhyanaya prayojana bhavat adhyanaya prayojana bhava so adhyanaya prayojana abhavat bhagwan sutrakara is saying asamanta dhyanaya for this dhyana sak meaning what a i say आसमंतात अप टू अप टू व्हाट ध्यान अप टू दी ध्यान साध्य साक्षात्कार सो साक्षात्कार पर्यंतम विल बी द मीनिंग ऑफ आ सो आसमंतात मीनिंग साक्षात्कार पर्यंतम 
वॉट इज दैट ध्यानाय ध्यान अर्थाय तादर्थ चतुर्थी फॉर दी पर्पस ऑफ ध्यान एंड व्हाट इज दी पर्पस ऑफ ध्यान देर निधिध्यासन ध्यान साध्य इज व्हाट साक्षात्कार सो प्रयोजन इज देर उपायत्व इज देर सो ध्यान साध्य इज साक्षात्कार प्रब्रह्म साक्षात्कार आत्म साक्षात्कार देर फोर आध्यानाय साक्षात्कार पर्यत ध्यान साध्य साक्षात्काराय प्रयोजना भावात कस्य प्रयोजन भावात वाक्य भेदे प्रयोजन भावात सिद्धांती सेइंग इफ यू जस्ट कीप इट आउटसाइड एंड डोंट क्लब टुगेदर यू से ओके इट हैज नो मीनिंग देयर देयर इज नो यूज इट इज यूजफुल इन परब्रह्म अंडरस्टैंडिंग परब्रह्म इटसेल्फ सो दी कठोपनिषद मंत्र इज इज द पर्पस इज इज ध्यान and you will see we will understand more in the vritti both ways it can be seen it has a purpose only for dhyana but what is being established eka phalatva sangati so prajnana upayatva abhidiyate it is this dhyana is also to understand your own swarupa until sakshatkara so if you say they are all what if the pura pakshi saying arthadi paratva is there rupa dharmasya so you can see the objection within the visheshana here there is a visheshana used in the eka phalatva sangati also yes it is useful in jnana the katha mantras which are what they are not upasamharya they need not be club together all right abrahma swarupasya because of what reason are you not clubbing together because they are not talking about brahma they are separating abrahma from brahma from atma therefore they need not be club together okay but then they are what arthadi para even if they are arthadi para they are useful for understanding prajnana upayatvam is still there it is taught there and therefore what we'll see in the vritti uh, for more understanding adhyana prayojana abhavat so just for dhyana if it is not leading to sakshatkara it is useless but you will not do dhyana on the on abrahma so finally what are you doing dhyana on dhyana finally through the viveka or through dhyana also finally where will you land you will land on parabrahma only you will separate them out as koshas or as roles of that which is not you they are having gradations or they are having vritti difference or they are having role difference therefore mana buddhi ityadi you are not indriyas you are not vishaya you are, and so on finally you will land on something that which cannot be separated from you and that is the real you so their dhyana prayojana is what prayojana abhava is there in only in dhyana which is on what artha arthadi arthadi para if you are doing dhyana on arthadi then it is futile all right but you are not doing dhyana on arthadi what is the adhyana what is the culmination of dhyana it is in sakshatkara understanding of that which is not arthadi which is separate from arthadi is most superior subtler and innermost pratyagatma that is brahma so atra purva pakshe vakya bheda bhedad vidya bheda siddhante vakya ikyal vaidya ikyam iti phala bheda so vakya are different says the purva pakshi what is the vakya bheda vakya bheda mean has different purpose they are committed to one is committed to artha the other is committed to indriya what is the swarup of indriya compared to indriya artha objects are superior okay compared to that the mind is superior so it is so each of these vakyas are committed to tattva vishaya this is the claim made by the purva pakshi siddhanti saying if they are committed to such vishayas and therefore you need not club together also is all right but in the same shakha also there is no vakya bheda forget across shakhas when you are talking about brahma then there is no vakya bheda there all of these which are talking about different entities which appear to be different entities as the committed vishaya they are different entities all right mana is different from buddhi in role indriyas are different from manaha buddhi vishayas are different from arthas are different from indriyas and mana and buddhi so this is all the viveka which is you you are doing and you think that these vakyas are committed to those particular vishayas it is not true individual vakyas seem to be committed to 
ಅರ್ಥ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯ ಮನಃ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಇತ್ಯಾದಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ಆತ್ಮ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೋ ಯು ಪುಟ್ ದೆಮ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಕಾಂಟೆಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಅ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಏಕವಾಕ್ಯತ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವಾಕ್ಯಭೇದೆ ಪ್ರಯೋಜನ ಅಭಾವ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸೀ ದೆಮ್ ಆಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಆಸ್ ಎನ್ ದೇರ್ ಪ್ರಯೋಜನ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಏಕಫಲ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಲುಕ್ ಆಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಕೋಶ ವಿವೇಕ ಆರ್ ಶರೀರ ವಿವೇಕ ಶರೀರ ತ್ರಯ ವಿವೇಕ ದೆನ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆನ್ ಆತ್ಮ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ತಾತ್ಪರ್ಯ ವಿಷಯ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಆಸ್ ಟು ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯ ಅರ್ಥ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ವಿಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞಾನ ಉಪಾಯತ್ವಂ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಏಕವಾಕ್ಯತ ಇನ್ ಕಠೋಪನಿಷತ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಏಕವಾಕ್ಯತ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ವೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ಇನ್ ದಿ ವೃತ್ತಿ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಅರ್ಥ ಪೂರ್ವಪಕ್ಷ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಭೇದ ವಿದ್ಯಾಭೇದ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಉಪಾಸನಾ ಭೇದ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಬಟ್ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ದೇರ್ ವಾಯ್ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತೆ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಇಕ್ಯಾದ್ ವಿದ್ಯ ಇಕ್ಯಮ್ ಇತಿ ಫಲಭೇದ ಎಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಸಿ ಸಮ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿವೇಕ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಡನ್ ಟು ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆನ್ ಆತ್ಮ ದೇ ಆಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಗೋಲ್ ಇನ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ಕಾರ ಆತ್ಮ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ಕಾರ ಥ್ರೂ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಐಕ್ಯಂ ಇಸ್ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ದೇರ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಭೇದ ಅಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಕಠವಲ್ಲಿ ಶೂ ಇದು ಫಲಭೇದ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಪೂರ್ವಪಕ್ಷಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ವಾಕ್ಯ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪಲ್ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಸೀನ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ಪೂರ್ವಪಕ್ಷಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಆಸ್ ಎಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಶಾಖಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಸಿ ಕಠವಲ್ಲಿ ಶೂ ಪಠ್ಯತೆ ಇನ್ ಕಠ ಕಠೋಪನಿಷತ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೀನ್ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯೇಭ್ಯ ಪರಾಹ್ಯರ್ಥ ಇದು ಆರಭ್ಯ ಪುರುಷಾನ್ನ ಪರಂ ಕಿಂಚಿತ್ ಸಾ ಕಾಷ್ಟ ಸಾ ಪರಾಗತಿ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಅರ್ಥಾಸ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಸುಪೀರಿಯರ್ ಟು ಇಂದ್ರಿಯ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯಾಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇ ಡ್ರ್ಯಾಗ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ದೇ ಡ್ರ್ಯಾಗ್ ದಿ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯಾಸ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದಮ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಸುಪೀರಿಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಆಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ವಿಷಯಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಡ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಅರ್ಥಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಡ್ರಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಕಮ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯಾಸ್ ಗೋ ಔಟ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಸಿ ಸುಪೀರಿಯಾರಿಟಿ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಆಸ್ ಪರ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಯು ಗೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ಯು ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಪುರುಷಾತ್ಮ ಪರಂ ಕಿಂಚಿತ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಸುಪೀರಿಯರ್ ಟು ಪುರುಷ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಸುಪೀರಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ನರ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರತ್ಯೇಕಾತ್ಮ ಸಟ್ಲೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಈಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪುರುಷ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾತ್ಮ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ತಸ್ಮಾತ್ ಪರಂ ಕಿಂಚಿತ್ ನಾಸ್ತಿ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ವೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಸೈಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಆರ್ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ಎನ್ ಎಂಡ್ ನೌ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಸಾ ಕಾಷ್ಟ ಸಾ ಪರಾಗತಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಲಿಮಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಗತಿ ಆಫ್ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಆರ್ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಇತಿ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಶ್ರುತಿ ತತ್ರ ಕಿಂ ಇಮಿ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಭಿನ್ನಾನಿ ಉತ ಆತ್ಮಪರಂ ಏಕಮೇವ ವಾಕ್ಯಮ್ ಇತಿ ಸಂಧೇ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಪೂರ್ವಪಕ್ಷಿ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ವಾಕ್ಯಾಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಮನಃ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಹೌ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ದಿ ಬಿ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಒನ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ವಾಕ್ಯಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಒನ್ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಮೀನಿ ಆತ್ಮಪರ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಟು ರಿವೀಲ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಫೈನಲಿ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯ ಸೆಪರೇಟ್ಲಿ ಮನಃ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಅರ್ಥ ಇತ್ಯಾದಿ ಇತಿ ಸಂದೇ ವೆನ್ ಸಚ್ ಅ ಡೌಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ ಪೂರ್ವಪ
प्रथम पुरुष मध्यम पुरुष उत्तम पुरुष यू सप्लाय सिंग्युलर और वॉट एवर इज दी वचना देर यू सप्लाय दैट भू धातु अस धातु इत्यादि विद अ थिंग अंत एंड देर फोर इट विल बिकम पद एंड एक थिंग वाक्य इट विल बिकम सिंगल सेंटेन्स सो इट शुड हैव वन वर्ब एट द मोस्ट एंड इट शुड हैव वन वर्ब डेफिनेटली इट शुड हैव वन एंड ओनली वन वर्ब दिस इज अ वाक्य एज पर व्याकरण व्याकरण ग्रमैरियन से दैट इन न्याय वॉट इज द केस इन तर्कशास्त्र दे से शक्तम पदम पद इज शक्त विच हैज कैपैसिटी टू रिवील समथिंग एंड पद समूह वाक्य दे से ऑल दीज वर्ड्स विच आर हैविंग कैपैसिटी टू टू रिवील समथिंग वेन दे कम टूगेदर देर इज अ संबंध नैयायिकाज आइडिया इज टू लुक एट संबंध बिट्वीन वर्ड्स पदास दे लुक एट कनेक्शन बिट्वीन दी पदास वैयाकरण ऑल्सो डज दैट बट दी वैयाकरण वी लुक एट दि कारक संबंध विद दि थिंग सो ही स्टार्ट विथ थिंग इन तर्क एनालिस तार्किक न्याय वैशेषिका वी लुक एट दि पद संबंध बिट्वीन ईच अदर देर फोर दिल से विच इज दि वॉट इज वॉट कैंड ऑफ संबंध इज बिट्वीन घट एंड भूतला वैयाकरण विल नॉट टॉक अबउट घट एंड भूतला संबंध वैयाकरण विल से घट इज कर्तृकारक कनेक्टेड विथ अस्थि सो भूतले घट अस्थि देर भूतला इज सप्तमी देर फोर देर अधिकरण कारक संबंध विद दि थिंग पद सो इल स्टार्ट विथ अस्थि एंड से घट अस्थि एंड वॉट भूतले अस्थि दिस ऑफ द संबंध वर्क्स सो इल स्टार्ट विथ दि पदार्थ बोध इज डिफरेंट इन अर्थ बोध ऑल दो एवरी वन से अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज द मीनिंग बट स्टील विच इज दि मेन वर्ड इन दैट सेंटेन्स बेस्ड ऑन दैट दि अर्थ बोध कंस्ट्रक्ट इज डिफरेंट वी हेव सीन दिस अर्लियर एलसुएर सो न्याय शक्तम पदम पद समूह वाक्यम दि कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ वर्ड्स विच रिवील दि संबंध बिटवीन दि वर्ड्स इज वाक्य हाउ एवर इन पूर्वमीम सा इट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम वैयाकरण दृष्टि ऑलसो एंड तार्किक दृष्टि ऑलसो मीमा सायां तो एक प्रतिपाद्यक एकवाक्यम मीमा का सीज इफ देर आर मल्टीपल थिंग अंत वर्ड्स एंड इफ देर इज देर मे बी मेनी वर्ड्स देर एंड देर मे बी संबंध बिट्वीन देम स्टील दैट इज नॉट दि वाक्य इन मीमा वॉट इज वाक्य वाक्य इज एक अर्थ प्रतिपाद्यक मीनिंग आर् दि रिवीलिंग द सिंगल एंटिटी इज देर गोल वन then if they are separated out in time and space if the uchcharana is separated in time and across shakha uh, across sections also it is there and sometimes across shakha also there is a single vakyata ek vakyata therefore what siddhanta stu adhyana dhyana sadhya sakshatkare purusha ev arthadibya sarvebhya paratvena pratipadya iti ekam eva vakyam because this purusha is the goal of all these vakyas because the paratva 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 keeps on being described in all sentences and they are focused towards a single purusha finally therefore that purusha ev arthadibya sarvebhya para so you are getting nothing by knowing the mind is superior to indriyas indriyas are superior uh, basically the vishayas are superior to indriyas and the mind is superior to इंद्रिया दोष एंड विषया दोष विषया एंड बुद्धि सुपीरियर टू मना इफ आई एक्सप्लेन नो यूज वॉट इज यूज वॉट आर दॉट इज ए फला दैट यू आर गेटिंग बट फाइनली वॉट इज बींग सेट दैट इन ऑल इज सटलरिटी बींग इनर मोस्ट एंड बींग सुपीरियर फाइनली यू लैंड ऑन पुरुषा सो फाइनली वॉट इज दंडरस्टैंडिंग इट डज नॉट रियली मैटर वेदर अर्थ आई सुपीरियर और mana is superior or buddhi is superior or vishaya is superior we try to understand the mantra for what it is elsewhere we will say sense organs are in your control vishayas are not your in control therefore indriyas can be seen superior to vishaya also but the mantra is indriyabhya parahyarta therefore you have to understand it differently as to what the objects drag the sense organs therefore we consider it as superior by based on some guna some dharma some kriya we can see superiority in that mantra but finally what is the real understanding of the entire section when you put together all the sentences 
Purusha is the limit. You cannot go further in superiority. So Purusha has to be superior compared to what? Arthas also, Indriyas also, Antakkarana, mean uh, Mana also, Buddhi also. Finally, compared to everything, this Purusha is Shrestha and that Purusha is you, says the Shruti. Therefore, what? Atma Param, Param Ekam Yev Vakyam. It has to be. Siddhanti is saying that iti ekam eva vakyam. Why? What is hetu? Sarvebhya paratvena pratipadya. Arthadibhya. Which are arthas, indriyas, adipadena, indriya, manaha, buddhi, compared to all of that. What is pratipadya is, what is para, paratvena pratipadya, what is being revealed as the most superior is this purusha, sakashtasa paragati, that is the ultimate limit of superior superiority and therefore iti ekam eva vakyam na tu indriya paratvya arthadaya pratipadyaha prayojana bhavat if you say no the single sentences in that section are committed to artha indriya mana buddhi ityadi if that is the case they are the revealed only once revealed you already know and uh, you already know mind and what is the uh, uh, shruti saying oh this is superior to the objects then what is, what is the prayojana? Prayojana bhava, there is absolutely no prayojana of the single vakya. If you take individual sentences, you don't get any phala. And you have to analyze with phala, says in Yuvamsaka, what is the result of this vakya? What have you understood? What, what After this understanding, what have you got? What are you to do with this? Nothing. So, nahi indriya paratvena artha jnana swata kinchit prayojanam janayati. It does not generate anything useful to you at all as a person who has been revealed this mind as being superior to objects and therefore to sense organs. There is nothing to be gained. So Indriya Paratvena Artha Jnanam Swataha Kinchit Prayojanam Nahi Janayati To understand the objects as superior to sense organs gives you absolutely nothing. Ataha Pratipadya Bheda Bhavat Navakya Bhedaha And therefore the revealed Purusha Brahma Paramatma Brahmatma is one and the same in the entire section. So when you say Indriyabhya Parahyartaha, you can understand Arthebhya Paraha Purushaha. Then when the Shruti says, Oh, Arthebhya para, Paraha Param Manaha, there you can understand as what Purusha is para to Arthas also. And so on, the Purusha is superior to all of these which are not the tatpare vishaya of that section at all. Ataha pratipadya bheda bhavat because there is no bheda in pratipadya brahmatma in all the sentences. They will form eka vakyata, therefore na vakya bheda, vakya bheda nasti. We will stop here, we will continue in the next part. Sorry for the long part, but we have taken many, uh, uh, I mean, there have been many breaks. So today I didn't have the follow on part. I thought that maybe I'll cover something more. Although we didn't do a lot but it's a longer class amnaya deksam siddham adi madhyanta varjitam anand ghanam apurnam atma jyoti rupasmahe namaste dhanyavada dhanyavada